With over two decades experience in implementing ERP and business management applications, we work with organisations across the UK to implement Acumatica Cloud ERP software. In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at the Acumatica mobile application. This allows users to enjoy easy access to Acumatica information with a native mobile app on either iOS or Android, all from the palm of their hand. Users can access accounts and contacts, manage approvals, start field service appointments, capture field reports and images from job sites, and access real-time information across your enterprise. The app can be accessed wherever you are, any time of the day or night. It connects to Acumatica in real time, so that you always have up-to-date information and any changes made in the mobile app are synchronised and updated in Acumatica automatically. I'm going to log into Acumatica on my mobile. I can enter a username and password, or I can also use my Face ID or fingerprint ID to open up the app. I've logged into my default company, but if I need to, then I can click on the user icon down here in the bottom right and choose which company or branch it is that I want to use. On my home screen, I can see some at-a-glance KPIs and drill into these if I want to view further details. I can also add any other KPIs into this area, so I'm always presented with the information I need as soon as I log into the app. Underneath the KPIs, I have a series of items that we call workspaces. Each of these workspaces contain the screens available to work on in the mobile app. You can view all of the same dashboards from Acumatica also on your mobile device. Here we've got two dashboards enabled, and if I go into the customer view, you'll recognize the panels with the customer and order data on it. And if we scroll down, we have the contacts, the sales order trends, the top 10 items sold, and then also any recent activities. If we want to add more dashboards to our mobile device, then we just need to go back to our main Acumatica application, open the dashboard that we want, and then go into the design mode, and then into the properties, we go and tick the expose to mobile app checkbox, and then go and save it. Now, if we log out and then back into our app, you'll now see that that new dashboard is available within here. If we go into the time and expenses menu, you will see some different icons. We can either click on the description tabs to view all of the transactions on the screen, or we can click on the plus button to add a new transaction of that type. Where we have the three dots, it means that we're able to do multiple things with this type. So in this case, we could capture a photo of an expense receipt or we could create a new one. On this screen, I can also see my approvals, my events, tasks, as well as being able to view and add equipment and employee time cards. You'll see at the top here that I've also got the option to add the KPIs again so I can have different KPIs within my individual workspaces in addition to the ones presented to me on the main screen. If we go to expense receipts and choose to capture a new receipt, the first thing it does is open the camera on my phone. I can then take a photo of the receipt. The Acumatica app then allows me to crop the photo so only the key information is displayed. I can also turn the image around or change the brightness and contrast of the image. An expense receipt record is then created. I can put in a description here, so I'll type in taxi, and then I can give it an expense item type. So in this case, I'm gonna say it was for business travel. I'll go and key in the amount here. If the receipt is project related, then I have the option to pick up a project code, task, and say if it's a it's billable back to the customer. We can now carry on entering our expense receipts as and when we get them. So let's add another one here for a meal. I'm gonna choose the business dinner and lunch category, and then I'm gonna add in the amount of 14.28, and then we can now save it. Then what we do at the end of the week or the month, or whenever we want to submit an expense claim, we go and add a new claim. Let's give this a description of August expenses. Then we can select the receipts that we've previously added and group them together as an expense claim. Once we've added all of the receipts, we can then go and submit the claim and it will now go off for approval. I'm logged into this app as administrator, so for demonstration purposes, I am able to go and approve the expense claims that I have just entered. So if I go into approvals and change the filter to show all, I'll now see that my claim is that is pending approval. I can then go and approve it. 
and then finally release it for payment. If we go back to Acumatica and into the expense claims, we will now see that it's there and it's ready to be paid. Within the CRM workspace, we can see things like our business accounts. So if we go into our Alter Ace customer, we can view some summary information, but then also go and have a look at the activities against this business account. We can view these activities in more detail. We can send an email directly from the mobile app, or we could choose to add a new activity, such as a task or a note. We can then go and view any opportunities that we have with this business account, also with the option of adding a new record. On the other tab, we're able to view any other information that is recorded against this business account, such as contacts or cases. Also within the CRM, we have the ability to view and add sales orders. We can pick the customer, choose the shipping location. I'll give this a description of mobile so that we can spot it when we go back into Acumatica. And then I'll go and add the line items for the stock that we want to put on the order. Let's say that we want one Acer laptop. I can then hit the plus button at the bottom here to be able to go and add in any more lines. So let's choose a Lego set, set the quantity, and then update it back to the order. Once we've finished the order and saved it, it will automatically go straight into the Acumatica back office. And we will see that it is waiting in the orders to ship, and we can spot it by the description of mobile that we have here. If we go back to the mobile app, and I'll just run through a summary of some of the other features that we have within here. So in projects, we're able to view our projects, put in change requests and change orders. Sales orders gives us a quick link in to enter a sales order rather than having to go through the CRM workspace. Purchases allow us to enter new purchase orders, as well as view orders, receipts, requests and requisitions. Then the warehouse management allows us to carry out all of the warehouse functions, such as pick, pack and put away. It will also read barcodes as well. So if I go into the item lookup and then scan a barcode, I can quickly and easily retrieve the details straight onto my app. Lastly, I'll just point out that the mobile app also gives you the same functionality when it comes to searching, both transactions and menu items. And then also the ability to add things to your favourites, just like in the main Acumatica back office application. So that concludes our introduction to the Acumatica mobile app. For a more detailed, in-depth, tailored demonstration or for further information, please contact us on the phone number or the email address on the screen. Many thanks for watching.